Welcome back, Newt Gingrich. Uh, first, uh, what do you make of Biden basically having Putin negotiate for us uh, with our other enemy, the Iranians? This is an extension of the Obama plan, which apparently is to try to have Iran balance off Israel. It's actually an anti-Israel move. Uh, they are, the left is desperate about it. It's crazy. It makes no sense at all. This is the leading nation of terrorism in the world. Uh, they openly state what they want to do, which is eliminate Israel and then drive us out of the Middle East. And it's hard to understand why the American left is so dedicated to uh, sponsoring a religiously inspired theocratic dictatorship that is the dominant terrorist state in the world. Uh, but they are, and it's, it's a fact. And uh, they're prepared. To, they, they would prop up Putin to have Putin's help with Iran. This is insanity. It's because I don't think the American left what I call American Marxists. I don't think Putin, and certainly not Iran, believe in democracy or certainly republicanism. I think one of the things Putin fears is what Xi fears in China, which is representative government and democracy. So in addition right. to being um, imperialists and so forth and so on, uh, they hate individual liberty and freedom. I want to ask you about the U.S. Supreme Court. We have a nominee here who was chosen among a group of people for among other reasons because she's African-American and she's a woman. So he had a very limited uh, list of individuals to choose from who served on the court and he picked the most radical one among them, supported by the most radical groups in America. And again, she was chosen because, among other things, two of her qualifications was she's African-American and a woman. And then when she's asked to define one of those qualifications, that is, What's a woman? She refused to do it. Isn't she just hiding her true radical ideology? No, I think she <clears throat> laid it out pretty clearly. She can't define what a woman is. Well, you show me somebody who can't define what a woman is, I'll show you somebody who is so radical that they clearly are not part of any reasonable mainstream. And you put a person like that on the court, uh, I mean, I, I think sir, she seems to have a pleasant personality but she clearly has nutty ideas. But, but then, look, I'm old-fashioned. I actually do think that there are men and there are women. Uh, I don't think we have birthing persons. I think we have mothers. Uh, I don't think that guys who pretend to be female and win swimming matches, therefore, are, are heroes or heroines. I'm not sure what you call them. I think that that destroys Title IX and destroys the future of women in athletics. Uh, and I think that we ought to be blunt about this stuff. And this is a fight we need. And frankly, uh, she should be disqualified unless she can come back in and explain what a woman is, and she can explain whether uh, words like he and she are acceptable pronouns. Uh, and I just think this is, this is the core of the cultural war that we're in the middle of between a, a religiously secular, anti-Christian, anti-Jewish, anti-Muslim belief system that wants to change all of us and get us to memorize 62 different pronouns so we can be sure to call people what they want to be called. I'm, I think she disqualified herself by that one answer because it, it was an answer. No, I can't define a woman. That is an answer. An anti-science, I might add. You don't have to be a biologist. You could be a third grader and know the <laughs> difference between a uh, boy and a girl. And I would say this, she's promoted critical race theory in many instances, and then she plays rope-a-dope like she doesn't know what critical race theory is. Uh, and uh, Newt Gingrich, I want to ask you this. Is this a winning argument for the Democrat Party? Because not a single Democrat in the Senate has spoken up against her. Biden, of all the people he could have chosen, chose no. her. This runs counter to the parental grassroots movement that goes on in this country where people want to control their schools. And these cases will come to the Supreme Court where she is going to be voting on what is the definition of a woman. Right. Well, and the challenge you have is that the elite media and many of the largest corporations have so totally sold out on this whole transsexual issue that uh, it is truly uphill. It's, it's, much, it's a much harder argument, for example, than right to life, uh, because for some reason, the left has totally rallied at the fanatic intensity around this question. Uh, you know, Biden has twice said to transsexuals, you know, I have your back. He didn't say that to people who happen to be heterosexual. He didn't say that to people who happen to be Christian or Jewish or Muslim. Uh, he didn't say that to Latinos. He said it to one particular narrow group. And for some reason, the left is fixated 
on this as the ultimate symbol of uh, what they really believe in. And you're talking about maybe five or 10% of the country. And I think this is an issue which is just one more thing that is alienating. You know, the most recent polling numbers, Latinos are becoming Republican. African-Americans are beginning to break. Uh, the supervisor of the, the school board was recalled in San Francisco, an over 70% vote led by Asian-Americans. Uh, you'll begin to really see the country wake up to the culture war. And unfortunately, this is the first Supreme Court nominee who represents the radicalism of the modern culture war. And for that reason, I think she should not be confirmed. Absolutely. Anybody who votes for her is voting for a, uh, a radical political activist on the Supreme Court. And I really tire of conservatives saying we shouldn't fight this one. We should keep our powder dry. She's just replacing Breyer. You stand and you fight, you explain nope. and you persuade in every instance. This is a lifetime appointment. Newt Gingrich, speaking of lifetimes, I want to thank you for what you've done throughout your life on behalf of this country. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. Well, thank you. Good to be with you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.